Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to look at Gong Lina. She won the 10th episode of Singer 2019 with Flowing Stream and as you may know I'm here in Singapore so uh, Chinese music is not unfamiliar to me. I'm unfamiliar, yeah, unfamiliar sorry. Uh, I do have Chinese students as well so um, it's really interesting for me to dive into a different uh, musical culture and also into a different language. Language. So it's really really interesting and I love to see things uh, from China and especially from singers. So let's go into it. Let's start. Okay, just one stop. So when what I get from when I work with my students here, perhaps I'm wrong, but that's what I get is the, that, that forward placement of that sound, right? It's so the forward placement of that sound, the bass that you feel, how it how you, you literally can feel it this forward forward placement, right? And um, you know, there is always this misconception about nasality and the nasal resonance, but here I get the feeling that it's I mean it's not na nasally like like Mr. Bean or something with a with a with a tense tongue in the back, but it, it does sound to me very nasally. Um, but it, it she in Chinese language you do use a lot of nasal resonance on the the end sounds how they travel with that soft palate down soft palate up. Uh, I get for example I have a student that her soft palate often time goes down when she sings uh, the, the end sounds uh, for example so she gets that nasal quality uh, to it that we don't want because you want to have an open open sound right open vocals rather than soft palate down but I like I like the clarity that she has here with that sound with that really clear a narrow sound that she got and then these beautiful riffs I'm sure in Chinese these are not like the riffs that we know uh, but perhaps there's a different word for the wrist that she uses. All in one phrase. That was very beautifully in one phrase. Nice arrangement. Sub, I like I like how that narrow sound. It's not. It's my. I mean, it, it will. It will. It, it can sound pingy. I don't think it sounds pingy here. You know, sometimes this very or very twangy sound or very nasally sound can be very or very narrow sounds can be very pingy into the ear. <laughs> but here in this case, I think the dynamic that she uses between using that crescendo, decrescendo, and connecting the phrases doesn't make it too. Too bright, too you know you know what I mean a little bit. That's what I get from this here, because I think that the way that she's connecting it, connecting it beautifully, um, makes it more melodic rather than just too narrow, which, which is it is narrow, right? And it, technically, um, but I like how she plays around, and then by the end, she just let this flow very beautifully, um, and it, it takes you know makes it a little bit doesn't air, she doesn't make it airy. She has a good vocal closure, but it sounds like. She's pulling it back, but she uses decrescendo here. That sound really travels in the back. Well, this... Very 
beautiful, very melodic on one vowel. I think that sounds very epic and uh, very, you know, it has this epic, powerful sound. By the way, if you want to make a warm up, right, then you can use uh, this. Just you can just put a put a soundtrack on, choose a comfortable vowel, and then play around with that vowel and uh, through all the registers, like she just simply uh, simply done, right? She just used that vowel, and then she went into all of those registers very beautifully. That might be a way to warm up. Just by the way. through all registers. That's too high for me. That was nice. And now I'm sending it down. Yes, it's, it's, it's really beautiful, you know, it's very, it's also nice to listen to something else than what we usually do, right? And um, I get why my Chinese friends always tell me that the, the approach in, in China, the vocal approach is differently than the Western. And of course, when you are like me coming from Western, from Germany, then the approach to music is always different. It's even different than it is in, in, Amer in America. The Germans have a different approach to, to vocals as well. And especially to modern pop singing as well, because still in Germany everything is really classic, classic based, and you know pop contemporary, the techniques and stuff like that. And people just are actually really right now opening a little bit more up to it. Uh, but what I get from the communities there is still very stiff. But anyway, I get why the approach technically is different. And if you can see that nasal resonant resonance sounds or the nasality soft palate down and up here on the ng sounds. Um, I really get it, but it's it's so well executed. It's so melodic and the way how she's balancing it, how she's painting it, you know. And she holds the vowel for some times and she's flexible within the ranges. So um, this created this mystic, epic, epic atmosphere and uh, I like it very much. So let me know in the comment section what you would like to see more and try this out. Actually, it's so nice. I was working on a Chinese song um, last, no, actually two years ago, not last year, two years ago when I moved to Singapore and I uh, was diving into a little bit more into the culture of China and I was using using a song, um, the the moon represents your heart, your heart. I think it, it's still somewhere on the channel. And I was singing a Chinese song and it was nice. It is a challenge. It's good for the brain. It's good to, um, try something else than you do usually as a singer and to open up the horizon and dive into different cultures musically, you know, and I think that's important. I always encourage my students to always try out something different, make it a rap song, sing something bluesy or jazzy, go into musical if you're from pop, whatsoever, you know, just cross genres, see how it works, open up the horizon, go into different techniques and try to, to get the best out of everything, you know, and I think that's really, really important. So yeah, why don't why not try out a Chinese song and let it see how it works for you and what we're what, what was differently than usually. 
Okay, my friends, I have to actually, in exactly six minutes, uh, teach my next student is coming. So, big kisses from Singapore. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'm also on Instagram, and I see you in my next video. Bye.